Hey, what's up guys? I'm Joe from Workbench, and as you can see, I'm wearing my Force Wheels t-shirt today. But what you can't see is that I'm not wearing any shoes. So we have a fun text tutorial for you guys this week, so let's get right to it. Alright, so this is what we're making. It's just a quick stretch and glitch out. So in this style, your best friend is the hold keyframe, because when something glitches, it usually just holds for a couple of frames. Hence, hold keyframe. So let's start a new comp. I'm going to call that text. Let's make this, uh, I'll just go to 19, 20, 29, 9, 7. Okay, so we're going to put some text in here, and it's going to be really tiny. Let's make that huge. Oops, not light. Let's make that like this. Uh, I'm going to keep it trade gothic. It looks pretty good in this style. Uh, I'm going to go with bold number two. And I'm going to change this to something else like white. And we're going to call it hashtag no shoes. And I'm going to move it to the center. Bring it down a little bit. There we go. All right. So our first order of business is to add a text animator. So we're going to do that. And we are going to do scale. And up in the more options over here, I'm going to go to this anchor point grouping. And it's going to be by character. And I'm going to change this to negative 100. So that makes it to where all of the anchors are on the end of the text. As you can see, the, it's represented right here. If I put this back to zero, they're all in the middle of the text. So we want to go negative 100. And then we are going to click here, convert that to a hold keyframe, change this comp to more than one frame because you need more than one frame in order to have animation. Let's do 300. Not that we're going to use that many, but it just keeps my timeline from looking crazy. Okay, so I'm going to move down just 10 frames. And then we are going to change the scale, but not in Y, just in X. And so now we're going to go over here to our range selector. And we're going to go into advanced. And we're going to hit randomize order. And we're going to back this down so it's not all of the text. So now you can see it's overlapping, and we don't really want that. So what we're going to add to here is a property, and we're going to add tracking. I'm actually going to delete that right there. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to change this to after. And right now the tracking amount will be zero. We're also going to toggle that into a hold keyframe. Go down 10 frames and modify. Somewhere along the way I lost my, my keyframe from my stretch. So let's put it back. All right, so I don't really like what letters it's selected. So I'm just going to click here and I'm going to use the up and down arrows to just go through a couple of them. Uh, actually, that one's pretty good. There we go. So that's the one I want. So what we're going to do is adjust this to where we want it. And then we're going to adjust the tracking to where it fits. Now, if you notice, this pushes this way when you track. For some reason, you can't really change whether it tracks to the, to the right or to the left. So you might have noticed I had a guide. And we're going to drag a guide out here. And what I'm going to do is go onto here and set another animator. Make sure all of this stuff is unclicked and set position and it should make a new animator and what I'm going to do is animate this position and you're probably wondering why I'm going to do it here instead of in the actual uh, position property in the text and that's because I want to be able to modify um, the position without having to change any keyframes so I'm going to toggle that hold keyframe I'm going to move this over here and I'm going to go a little past it because it kind of like shifts off as it glitches so then we're going to go down about three keyframes and in that one you notice that over here we have it's split off into lines. And so all we're going to do is have a mask. We're going to cut about where those lines are. Set that to subtract. And then we're going to move these up a little bit till it makes a little better sense. And I thought I'd like these thick, but I think I'm going to change this to something else. Hold condensed might be cool. All right, so at this point, go into the mask, and we're going to set a keyframe on expansion. And I'm going to make this like negative 50 pixels, whatever it is that'll make this show back up. Toggle that into a hold keyframe, move it over here, and then go to zero. And then in this frame, I'm going to scale this way more. And then I'm going to track it way more. And then I'm going to move it over. I didn't draw this mask out big enough. Make sure you draw a big mask in that direction. And then you give that like another three frames. And then you cut that layer. Okay, so I'm still not a huge fan of this text. Uh, let's go with 
old extended, I believe was the original one. All right, so this tracking is set really low too. I'm gonna change this to 60 like the other example. Um, the, the other thing is this, the randomness of this one is not fitting the way I want it anymore. So I'm gonna go over here, and change the random seed again. And I'm actually gonna lessen the amount of characters that it, that it affects. I'd still even go less than that. So you basically just have to play around with it. Now part of what will make this look better, and this one I guess I, I picked a terrible line of text in order to show this effect off I guess, but if you have stuff in there like T, so like hashtag text effect, the more letters that you have that have like a crossbar up here will look really nice. They leave the lines at the top. So then you can actually stack these if you wanted to get like super crazy. Or you can offset or change the amount that it's selecting in its range. And if you want, you don't have to make it random. You can actually have it stretch the front ones out or whatever. So that's pretty cool. Let's try that with the hashtag no shoes. It goes gigantic again. That's actually kind of cool though. So obviously you can change it around a lot and tweak it to your liking. But once you have it set, you can just retype in new stuff and it should look pretty cool with minimal tweaking after that. So it's a cool repeatable text animation. You can also save it as a preset so you can use it all over your project. So that's it for this one. If you guys have any comments or questions, leave them in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye.